Hi, this is Sarah and Jared with Lasers and More. Today, I'm going to show you how to assemble the school bus memory puzzle. Uh, the bus, as you see it now, has been painted. Um, so it's optional if you want to go ahead and paint that. There are some score lines uh, that help you with where to lay out everything, but it does make it a lot easier if you pre-paint the primary color, so yellow, before you get started. All right, so uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get going here. So we have the front piece. There will be these pieces that will cover up your memory game sheets that you can insert in here. So um, we'll show you how to assemble these guys, but there will be 18 of them to fill all of this up. All right, now we have this piece that will go underneath of the bus. And the way this works, if you see it lined up here, is there will be a small lip in there where these can rest on so that they don't fall all the way through and touch the paper underneath. You'll see more how that works later. All right, and then there will be the back panel on there. There are some standoffs here that will help provide the ability to assemble this with the tabs and the small bar here will be the space where you can insert the papers. All right, I promise this will all make sense. Just bear with me here. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and get started by flipping the bus over to the back side. And then we will take our piece here, lay it over the top and what we have to do, and this gets a little bit tricky, is we have to install these pieces. And if you'll see, there is a bigger tooth and a smaller tooth on this side. The bigger tooth goes down because it has to go through two layers of wood here. We'll go ahead and get this lined up with these slots and we'll start to using some kind of a non-marring mallet or something that you have available. Um, my wife laughed at me because the first time I built one of these, I was in the kitchen because I was too lazy to come out to the shop and I used a rolling pin to assemble it. So use what you got. So anyway, you can go ahead and get these started through the first layer. I'll show you what this looks like here. If we flip it over, you can see that the piece is started, they're flush there, but you can still, still see there's a gap right here on each of these. So when we finish assembling it, this will be tied up against this piece here. All right, so let's go ahead and get the other ones installed. Now there is a difference here. These do have a right way up and a right way down. And the way you can tell is that if you see this tab here, well, let me find the camera. All right, there we go. If you find the tab there, ooh, let's show you, ah, there's a good view. Right here, you can see that it lines up with this slot. If I put it the wrong way in, there would be a gap right here like that. You don't want that. You want this down here flush with the bottom, okay? So make sure you get that in there the right way. Just double check this side, okay. Oh, I'm going the right direction. Let's go ahead. Put this one in there as well. Okay, we got those in there. Now, this is the long one for the bottom. Again, pay attention which way goes up. The big teeth go down towards this piece, okay? Now, 
This can get a little unruly because of how long it is, but uh, bear with me. It goes in just the same as we did the sides. Just get it started as you go down the row here. There we go. We are in. So, the next step is to place it over the bus right here get it lined up you just kind of have to eyeball it try to see if you got it in the right spot and then we'll get it started don't force it just kind of double check see if you've got it heading in the right direction i don't <laughs> so i'll try again all right Okay, so that's what it should look like. So this will be flush now, and then you will see the tabs come out the front. All right, let's go ahead and, once you get the first one in, the rest of it's a lot easier. Not quite, see, I got that one a little bit bent up there. So just be careful, make sure you have them all the way down and flush. All right. Looks good, looking good. All right, next step is take your back panel here. Go ahead and line it up with what you just did and do the same thing where we just tap this right into place. Okay, and now that one is tapped into place. And what we've done here, if you can see, is we've created this recess right in here, and this is where the papers will go for the memory game. All right, now I think in a little better view here, you can see how there's this lip from that layer underneath of it, all right? And so if you place these pieces here, they don't fall all the way through to the bottom. All right, the next step is going to be assembling these guys. All right, so what you need, there's three pieces. You have the bottom, you have one with a slot going one way, a slot going the other. Should be pretty self-explanatory. So this piece with the slot facing up is going to go in first. So just like the other stuff, grab a mallet, tap it into place until it is down flush. Okay, grab your other one with the slot on the bottom, slide it over just like that until it's just about in the holes, then grab your mallet, whacker, whatever you got. Give it a little love until she's bottomed out. Should look like this. Now we have another one. Now all you have to do is make the other 16 after these. All right, let's go. All right, and just like that, and a couple of uh, smash knuckles later, we are done. We have all 18 of those made ready to go in the bus. There is a couple of other steps that we need to talk about here. Uh, one thing would be, if you notice, the uh, tires are yellow. Well, that's not gonna work. So what we've made here are a couple more little pieces. These are just made out of some 16th inch material and uh, painted, and they are cut out to fit right on top there. And since we already painted the center of the wheels and the lettering on the tires, you can go ahead and glue or uh, double side tape those in place to finish off the wheels. And then we will insert all of our puzzle pieces and you'll get a final look of what this uh, completed 
puzzle looks like. All right, there you go. That is the finished product. There are a couple of tips that I wanna give you for assembly that I had skipped over during this that we learned through using this. Uh, that would be on the top here, a little bit of glue or some double-sided tape between these two layers that are sandwiched together will help keep this together so that when you are pressing down on these pieces, if you get a kid that's a little heavy-handed, it doesn't push. Oh, there we go, come on. All right, it doesn't push and jam the piece under there like this, so we don't want that. All right, so just a little bit of glue or some tape between these first two pieces, we'll take care of that problem. All right, and next I will hand it off to my wife to show you the awesome artwork she made for the game piece of this uh, whole thing, and uh, let her show you that. So my husband was telling you that this is a memory game, and now you actually get to see how that part of it works. Look, there's a dragon fruit and a banana. Now, if I was actually playing it, I would cover the banana and the dragon fruit back up and find the next thing, which is an apple. But we're not doing that. Oh, there's another apple and a dragon fruit. And so we have nine matching pairs of items and not just fruit. So you will have a set of PDFs in your um, group of files there, and each one is a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper with a fold here line. Um, on the screen, hopefully, I am showing you some print settings, and it's important to use those print settings so that you are printing all the way to a quarter inch from the edge. Um, if you don't, things will be offset. It's still playable that way, but um, the, the different icons are the fruits and shapes, animals and vehicles, insects and dinosaurs, numbers, and some of the letters, more letters, the rest of the letters, colors, blank, and then a whole page full of blanks that your kids can create themselves. And again, you'll have a eight and a half by 11 page that you just need to print. And there's a fold here mark and you just fold along that line, which should be dead center. If it's dead center, your printer worked right. And then all you need to do is put your pages inside of the school bus. And you can play the memory game by covering them up. This is the finger divot that I had commented on during the assembly portion of the video. So um, this will be in your file. It wasn't in the assembly video because we accidentally printed the wrong version of the bus, but yours will have the right version. Thanks for watching and hopefully you found this informative and now are able to assemble your own bus. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Hit subscribe so you know when our next video comes out. And please let us know if there's anything that we can be doing better. Thanks!